Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel and this is my first impressions look on the Anta Shock the Game 4.0. So when I first saw these, I was like, oh, is this another Clay Thompson shoe? Because I saw, you know, the Anta logos right here. <laughs> and I was like, oh, it looks actually pretty dope. It's very, very different, but you know, I like the combination of materials, like the mesh panels, and I guess it's this like little claw thing here on the lateral side. It looks really, really dope in my opinion, you know? And guess how much this shoe is, guys? 120 bucks. No, it's actually not. If it was 120 bucks, I'd be like, okay, yeah, that's that's fine, you know. But it's not. It's 40 dollars cheaper than that. It's 80 freaking dollars, and Anta is killing it with the budget game, guys. And not only are they killing it with the budget game, they're killing it for the bang for your buck game. Cause is that even a game? I don't even know. <laughs> I just made that up, but. Like the quality is not bad for 80 bucks. And what you're getting, like the, the traction and the cushion, man, 80 bucks, Anta is killing it. So uh, if you guys do wanna get it, I'll leave a link in the description box. I got it from Famuji. And uh, let's get it started off with the traction. So if you look at the traction, uh, they're using like a, I don't really know what to call this. It, wiper blades, <laughs> nah, I, I don't know, reverse wiper blades. I, I That's just what I'll call it. So uh, they're using this pattern and they're saying that it's outdoor specific. So it was specifically made for outdoor use in mind. And I believe them, the rubber is super hard and the grooves are actually really deep. So I feel like outdoor use is gonna be good. I tried it on my wood floors. It has a nice little squeak to it and a nice little bite. Not the hardest bite that I've ever experienced on my wood floors, but you know, it's pretty good. And then here on the lateral side, as you guys can see, it is separated and by this, what, what are they calling it? An A-Shock stabilizer. <laughs> so they have to call everything something, you know what I'm saying? That's just how Anta is. That's, that's just kind of like how Chinese companies are. They, I'm surprised they didn't, you know, name this thing, you know, the A-Shock pull tab or something, you know? I'm not hating, but that's just kind of what they do. I guess I am hating, I'm sorry. Uh, but anyways, so uh, this rubber outsole and I guess this plastic part, which is like a softer type of plastic, which also kind of acts like a midfoot shank, uh, comes up here all the way into the lateral side and kind of like, I guess if I put my fingers like this, that's what it would look like. And uh, it's obviously really, really good for lateral containment. And I don't think there's gonna be any issues with lateral containment. All right, moving on to the heel to toe transition, super duper smooth. You have a nice curved shape here in the heel, nice curved shape here in the forefoot. And you have a lot of flex in the forefoot as well. So a uh, super smooth, it doesn't feel boot-like at all. It kind of looks like a boot though, doesn't it? You know, just like kind of the overall silhouette, kind of looks clunky, kind of looks like a boot but it's not, it's super smooth. You just walk around, uh, very, very fluid. So now moving on to the cushioning, they're calling this their A-Shock 3.0. So I don't think I've ever uh, played in A-Shock cushioning. I've only played in A-Flash Foam, I believe. And that's from, you know, the KT line. The KT line usually uses the A-Flash Foam. So uh, A-Shock 3.0 is new to me, but then like just pressing the cushioning with my fingers, it's really, really soft. And not only that, so uh, as far as the insole goes, the insole is really comfortable. It's a nice thick foam material. So the stepping comfort is nice from that, like just the insole alone. But like this struggle board is actually pretty soft. It's not like crazy glued down. Obviously I feel like they use a little bit of glue, but like if you press it with your finger, especially in the heel, I can feel the actual like cushioning. You know, it like kind of compresses. So, so step in comfort and underfoot cushioning is really, really nice. Very comfortable, very soft in the shoe. And not only that, but the court feel feels pretty nice. You know, I would say it's around the same as like the PG4. Uh, so not as low as like the Harden Volume 4, which is probably like the lowest you like you can go. But then you have a nice soft cushion underneath your foot. Also, there is a lot of compression here in the heel. I feel like impact protection is gonna be very, very good. It doesn't feel crazy bouncy to me though yet. I'm gonna need to you know, obviously play in them, so we'll see on that. But it doesn't feel crazy bouncy to me right now, just walking around in a little bit. But so far, I mean, it feels really, really nice. Two things that I'm worried about is that this might bottom out though. Uh, we'll have to see on that, but you know, hopefully it doesn't. But I feel like it's gonna bottom out pretty quickly. And it might be a little unstable here in the heel. I don't think it's gonna be crazy, crazy unstable like the LeBrons or anything, but it might be. Uh, it's just a little speculation though, uh, something that I'm a little worried about. But you know, that's it. Uh, this cushioning setup is really, really nice. 
All right, moving on to the materials. They're using a combination of materials. Uh, they're using a lot actually. So here in the toe box, like in the tip of the toe, you have a synthetic material and it kind of extends here into the lateral side as well as in the medial side. Like you have this little panel here on the medial side. And then underneath that, this like pink color material is a mesh. And then this like light green panel is made from mesh, which I kind of like. And uh, if you look at the shoe, it looks like it's gonna be really thick and it looks very bulky, right? And to be honest, it kind of is bulky, but then like, that's only because of all of this here in the heel, like the cushioning and like, I guess it's like lateral counter. But the actual material is pretty thin and it's soft, it's comfortable. There's no stretch to it. So I feel like it's gonna be a supportive material. Like the quality, I would say isn't the best, obviously because they're using synthetic materials, but it feels really nice on foot. The tongue, they're using the same type of mesh. And then also on the tongue, uh, they're using a pretty cheap synthetic material with this like rubber gel thing here in the middle and then you have a pull tab here also here in the heel you have this like heel tab thing which does absolutely nothing it reminds me of the adapt bb 2.0 you know what i'm saying like what what is this for it doesn't even pull it's not attached to this heel part so like if you pull it it doesn't do anything one thing i really really love about the shoe though is the lining material. The lining material is this like really soft, really smooth material. Feels really nice and actually premium. It doesn't feel cheap at all. And also another thing that I love about this shoe is the Achilles pad. It's a very large Achilles pad and uh, it's just one. It's not even two. It's just a freaking one big ass Achilles pad and feels incredible. My Achilles loves this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then the tongue is, uh, there's really no padding to it. Uh, I would just say it's just a, a thicker like mesh. It's this mesh, but then it's kind of thick. You know what I'm saying? They're not using like a foam padding in the tongue, but you know, it feels nice. It feels cozy. And also this is a half booty tongue. So it attaches to a material that goes underneath the upper, giving you a better overall one-to-one -one fit. And it keeps the tongue in place. Also, another thing I really like about the tongue is that, you know, it's an oversized tongue. So it kind of like wraps around your foot. Look at how, look at how large it is, you know? Kind of reminds me of like the Kobe 9. Also, there are some 3M touches on the shoe. So if you look at like, I guess the heel, you have this like little 3M like circle or oval. And then on the tongue, you have a little bit of 3M and uh, the eyelets are all 3M. So uh, that's a nice little touch there. All right, as for the fit, I went true to size and uh, it runs a tiny bit long. So my toe is probably around right here. As far as the toe space goes, it's not super snug for me. Uh, there's just a little bit of space, but it's not to the point where it's super uncomfortable and annoying for me. I guess one of my biggest pet peeves in fit is that if there's a lot of dead space here in the toe box area, I really don't like it. But you know, it's not to the point where I, I like hate it a lot. And I don't think this material is gonna be a type of material that stretches out a lot while I play, it, like break it in and play in it. Uh, but it, it is a, a little roomy and a little bit roomier than I would like. And as far as the width goes, I would say it's uh, a little wide actually. So uh, if you have a wide foot, be very, very happy. I feel like this shoe is more for people that have wide feet or that want a roomier fit. Uh, moving on to the support and lockdown. Obviously, I feel like lateral support is going to be really, really good in this shoe. Don't you guys think, right? Uh, just a little speculation. There is an internal TPU heel counter. And obviously this, I would classify as, I guess, a mid cut. Uh, it kind of like goes over your ankle bone, but like this material is pretty soft. It doesn't really restrict ankle movement all too much. So I don't think ankle support is gonna be that good, but you know, it is a pretty wide base, like this stabilizer thing kind of protrudes out. So uh, I feel like lateral stability is gonna be good. And of course you got the rope laces here. All right, moving on to the weight. What do you guys think? I mean, it looks heavy. It looks bulky too, right? I'm guessing like 13, 13.5 ounces. Damn, bro, 15.7 ounces. Yeah, I, I don't know why it feels lighter than that. Um, but yeah, 15.7 is definitely not not light. That's actually super freaking heavy. That's like a LeBron, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, this shoe feels a little heavy. Um, I, I'm actually kind of surprised. Like I said, I didn't expect it to be that heavy. Like the upper is actually kind of minimal. You know what I'm saying? Even though they're using like a large combination of materials, it's not like that thick. There's not a crazy amount of padding uh, on the shoe. Obviously like the synthetic leather panels uh, add a little bit of weight, but it's not crazy thick, you know? 
I feel like most of the weight is probably from the midsole and the outsole. You know, this A-Shock 3.0, it feels like a really dense foam, not like Reactor Lunalon. One good thing though, is that I, right now, obviously I'm gonna need to play in it, but right now it doesn't feel crazy, crazy bulky. You know, like comparing it to, let's see, the Dawn Issues, where is it? The Dawn issue for some reason, like for me, feels really, really heavy and really bulky. And it just doesn't feel like that in this shoe for me. Like I said, I was surprised at how heavy it was, you know? But anyways, all right, moving on to the aesthetics. Like I said, I really like it. It's very different. I like the different panels, like different types of materials that they're using. It's very chaotic. And uh, it kind of reminds me of like a Westbrook type of shoe but then like better design maybe you know because i wasn't really a huge fan of the why not 0.3 like if this was russell westbrook's shoe i would be like mm, that's pretty damn nice right and i also really like the colorway so tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below so right now my first impressions are really really nice uh i i don't think i'll like it as much because like obviously for me what i prefer is a, a very minimal shoe and a very very light shoe and that's obviously not what the shoe is. But of course, I'm gonna need to play in it. Hopefully it surprises me. Like as far as the quality of the materials and how it feels on foot, it's just super comfortable, cozy. I love the lining. I love the Achilles pad. The cushioning is nice. And all of that for 80 bucks is insane. Anta, you guys are killing it. So if you guys do wanna cop the shoe, I'll leave a link in the description box. Shout out to Famuji. Uh, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.